Hi everyone, it's Colin Bodville for ifsetglobal.com and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Fluid Mesh Mito Wireless Series. The exact model number I'm going to be showing you today is the FM1100M. First off, let's take a look at the exterior of this unit. As you can see, it's very small, especially considering how powerful it is. And remember, the FM1100M is a completely self-contained unit. Other than the PoE injector, there are no external antennas or other devices required to use it. On the back of the unit there is a power indicator, your network activity indicators, and then your signal strength indicator. If you go to the bottom of the unit you'll see that there's a small cover you can remove to reveal two ethernet jacks as well as a small reset button. That's all there really is to the exterior of this unit, so now let's get techie. The Mito series from Fluid Mesh uses Fluid Max technology, allowing it to operate in point-to-point, -point, point to multi point and mesh architecture networks. It can transmit 100 megabits per second of throughput up to 5 miles or 8 kilometers, but that's not where Mito Max is at. In fact, it can transmit up to 20 miles or 30 kilometers, but drops down to a 15 megabits per second throughput at that distance. The ability for Mito to be adapted to multiple network topologies is ideal for any network that you're anticipating a need to grow or modify over time. With a lot of other wireless solutions, you can't use the same receiver for point-to-point -point that you would for multi-point or mesh mode, but with the FM1100Ms you can adapt them as they grow, meaning the same unit I'm using today for a point-to-point -point solution can later be used as a multi-point receiver, no additional equipment required. FluidMesh's self-healing technology fully supports mesh network topologies, allowing you to create multiple redundancies within your wireless network. What this means for your data is should one of the connections ever go down for any reason, Fluid Mesh will reroute that data while repairing the lost connection without ever losing a single bit. Configuring these units is done through FM Quadro, a web browser based user interface. The system only requires you to set three parameters using the Fluid Mesh Mesh Wizard. Everything else is automatic, and Fluid Mesh estimates configuration times to be around 15 minutes per unit. In addition, FM Quadro can also be used for troubleshooting and monitoring the entire wireless network. It doesn't matter if you have two radios or a thousand, everything can be monitored from one centralized point. Alright, that's more than enough techie talk. Let's move on to what I like about these units and then what I don't like. First thing I like is the three step setup process and all the troubleshooting and monitoring tools included with FM Quadro. For such an advanced wireless solution, it could not be easier to use. The second thing I really like about the Mito series is the pay-as-you-go throughput solution. Sometimes you want to use a fluid mesh solution just because of the distance, but really you only need to stream one camera. It's nice that I don't have to pay for 100 megabits per second if I'm only going to be using 10. Alright, so now it's time for what I don't like about the Mito series. Well, the only complaint I really have is, when will we see more throughput? These fluid mesh units are so brilliantly designed and so easy to use. I'd love to see fluid mesh release some products with higher bandwidth capabilities. That way, we could really start competing with fiber and gigabit networks. All in all, the Mito series from fluid mesh is tough to criticize. Fluid mesh has done such a great job with this product, and I really can't find too many things wrong with it. That's it for this review of the fluid mesh Mito series. My name again is Colin Bodville, and thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. See you next time.